seems like each of us has an artist hidden deep inside. There's a need to create art in our very bones. And if it's pottery you want to create, Arts Ablaze offers you a perfect opportunity to try your hand at it. Joining us to help us find our artistic side is Teresa Barian from Arts Ablaze Studio. Welcome, Teresa. Thank you Arts for Ablaze me. Studio. Tell yep. me about your studio. Well, we're a paint your own pottery studio located in Lakewood Ranch Main Street and it's good for any age from so, infants to grandmas and grandpas. So we can just walk in? Do we need an appointment? Yep. We're a walk-in studio so anytime you want to come in during our hours from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. you could find a project to pick and paint. So you have all the supplies there? Yes, we have everything there that you need to create something. You also have kits to go, I understand, we so we can take them home. To go. That's exactly. A great idea. Yeah. yeah. How does that so, work? Um, well, we have a, on our website where you have about a half a dozen different projects to choose from. Order it online. Order your paints. You come and pick up a little box that we have here with your paint colors, a couple of brushes, and your project. Painted at your convenience at home. Oh, and this one's going to be an ice cream cone. Oh, yeah, look. With the different paints all ready to go. That's cool because if you want to start a new hobby, sometimes you don't want to go out and buy all of the supplies that are needed because mm -hmm. what exactly. if you're not good at it or you don't like it? So exactly. this is a great way to begin. Yep. Yes, and you're all set to start. Yes. So this is what we would have. Well, show us how to use it now. Now, I think, didn't you bring, you brought us some sponges. I brought us a little project uh -huh. to do, and it's uh, ombre painting with sponges. Okay. So we have three different colors that we're going to melt into getting from light to dark. Okay. So you're going to take your first sponge and put it in the little pink cup, wipe some off here, then start putting it at the top of your tile. At the top. Right. Okay. So you have a blotting tile for yes, us kind exactly. of? Yes, okay. exactly. I see. Put okay. it at the top. S do we use the same, s oh, all, all the way across? Yep, all the way across. Now I know different types of painting allow for mistakes. <laughs> right? I, where does this fall on that? Um, this is very easily taken off <laughs> until the final outcome after it comes out of the kiln. You could change anything on it. Oh, good. Uh, that now, do we go to the, the go same to brush? The, the you same could sponge? use another sponge and okay. then blot that one. And now you're going to start where you left off on the other color and kind of mend them together. Okay, mend them together. Well, I'm doing a good job on our desk. I don't know about <laughs> I know, I was thinking that too. Uh, well, we're going to have the blue. At least it's a Sun it's Coast okay. blue. It comes, everything comes off with water. So oh, that's so oh, good that's to know. It, yeah. <laughs> you could come in your finest uh, dress and paint, and it'll just wash off. Ah. I like the idea, too, that you can go somewhere, and all of all of the supplies are there, but also the cleanup happens. The yes, too. yes, exactly. But if you take it home, you're not taking all the stuff you'll never use. You're taking right. stuff you, that you will actually use. Use. Right, exactly. I exactly. have so many leftover art things that I never, I used one of and never used anymore. Oh yeah, there's, we have everything, cups, plates, platters, teapots. What kind of paint is this? This is pottery paint. Okay. It's only good on pottery. And as you could see, the bowl is all shiny. That's because it was fired in the kiln and that's how these will have to be fired in the kiln otherwise the paint would come right off if it wasn't fired. Oh, so it we have to leave right them. Off. We right. have to leave I'll them take with them you. back to the studio and fire them in the kiln. And oh. in a few days you'll pick up your project. Oh, so nice. if if we take a kit home, then they we have to bring back the kit for it to be fired. And that, how long does it take? It uh, takes between 5 and 7 days to get your project back. When it's closer to the holidays, like Christmas, and we're mad crazy, it could take only two days. But the kiln does, these do have to be fired at 1,828 degrees inside the kiln. Wow. So it takes about eight hours to get to that temperature, and then the kiln shuts down, and it takes another 20 hours to cool oh. to 200 degrees. So this is not the sort of thing we would ever have at home. Yeah, exactly. You don't I, want I looked the on your website. I saw those Christmas trees oh, that yeah. you make. Yep. Oh, I've got one of those. <laughs> what Most fun. You have classes. Yep. Stephanie, yours came out very pretty. I like the blue. Yeah. yeah and it came I like out the, really nice. I like the way that you figured out the tones of the blues that go right. back together. Because, you know, and I can do anything once given directly. But yeah. I don't usually yeah. have a lot of uh, ideas so I need on my more own. Up. <laughs> well, you want to take some of the light gray that you started with uh -huh. and bring it down into here because the light gray that right, I started with. One. 
Okay. You know what I like about the idea of doing this with a group of friends is like you can go out to eat or you can go to dinner. Right. But when you're doing a craft or a project together, it's mm -hmm. like when you're playing cards. You have the best conversations. Yes, you do. And everybody's kind of doing their own thing, but kind of you know, uh, you, it's a great way to catch up or do things that aren't don't always involve going out for cocktails. Right. And, right. And or when eating. you're focused on something else, you're more free with your conversation, yeah. I think. You say and it things. Is BYOB if you want. Well, <laughs> uh, speaking it's, of cocktails. It's nice to know there's <laughs> the option. We might, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you might need you get that. more creative. Joey, how are you doing over there? I mean, it could be better, but especially because I'm looking at Teresa. Teresa, prop yours up a little bit so they can see how the master does it. <laughs> but it's let's see. That's really really pretty. Gorgeous work. And so will the color change when the kiln hits yeah, it? Yeah, it, it, the blues that no, she's using are the blues I that love are that. that is. Okay. That's okay. Gonna Here's kind of going to be a before. So it exactly. gets darker. Exactly. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, look, and look, it goes from dark to light. Right. right. And you can see doing. how you're yep. going to get the sheen once you get the kiln. Is right. this, what age group is this for? Oh, we have infants to you know, grandmas, it's for everybody. The infants don't necessarily paint, but we do handprints, we do footprints on anything, and then, like, we do booty prints, and oh. then it turns them into oh, so a cute. A pumpkin, it says my little say. pumpkin. Oh, this yeah. is so much fun, everybody's yeah. going to Linda, we it. can do a booty print for you for, ha for a Halloween. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be scary. Thank you very much, <laughs> thank you, Stephanie. You become a well, little rumpkin. <laughs> if you want to try this for yourself, you just take it back once you paint it at home, and she will finish it off for you. And for more on Arts and Blaze Studio, visit their website, artsandblazestudio.com. We'll be right back.